Right. In the previous video, we looked at if statements. So an if statement gives you a return value of true or false. Is the logical test true or false? When you uh, manage to do that, you can also think, well, sometimes I don't have a true or false answer. I have a true or true or false or true or false answer. And that sounds a little bit strange, but we're going to get to it. Here we have the companies again. And we already know that there is a difference between the revenues. And the first thing I want to do, and that's just to make everything clearer, is to show you the difference between the two numbers. So this is a very easy Excel function, and I'm just going to type C2 minus B2. And that gives us an answer of how much the difference is between these two numbers. And I'm just going to copy that. So you don't need to do this for your uh, nested if statement, but it is nice to see what happens here. Now, the company tells us we want to uh, have a status of all our customers. And if our customer had a growth of more than $50,000, then they get a silver status. If it's more than 100,000, they get gold. If it's more than 250,000 in one year growth, they get a platinum status, right? The problem here is that your if statement uh, doesn't solve this problem because it's not either true or false. It's either 50, 100, 250, or less than 50, right? Let's start by building up this function. So we have a logical test and it gives us a true or a false value. Is if. And then the logical test we need to tell the program, well, it's the calculation is C2 minus B2. And then something comes out of that and we want to check it. And what do we want to know? Well, it's very important here that we start with the largest number because the if statement will stop. If the logical test is true, it returns the true value and it stops. So what we want to do here is go to platinum, right? If this is greater than 250,000, we type our first comma. If it's greater than 250,000 and it's easy, this company gets a platinum status. So platinum status. All right. But now we have a problem because now we can't just say, well, if it's false, then it's gold. No, that's not true. Because in this case, false is everything less than 250,000. Also 100, also 50, but also negative values. So we are going to put another if statement here. And this is what we call nested if because within the if statement, we are going to type another if statement. So the false part of this first if statement here, this one, is another one. And then we're going to type if. And we need another logical test. So we're going to, just going to test for the same thing. C2 minus B2. But in this case, we want to know, is it greater than 100,000? And keep in mind, if it's more than 250,000, this will never be hit because we already get platinum. So now we're just going to check is the value greater than 100,000. Okay, if that is true, so we get another true or false value. If this is true, then they are gold, right? Okay. For the next one. Now, if this one is false, so it's not greater than 100,000, then what? Can we just say, well, then it's silver. Think about it. No, we can't because silver needs to be more than 50,000. So we need to check for the 50,000 because if it's minus 48,000, like, like we have there, then it would also give silver if we just type silver here. So we want to check again. And here we go another step deeper. So this is called the if statement. This is the first nested if, but now within this if, we are going to do another one, another nested if. So this is the second nested if. So I'm just going to type here if, again, we need to do the logical test. Well, we're going to test for the same thing, C2 minus B2. And then the first test is if this is true, so it's 
sorry, we have to do larger than, greater than 50,000. If that is true, right, then we get a silver status, silver. And if this is false, so everything below 50,000, we can just say, well, we don't want to see anything. So that's how we do that. We type two, um, and then to close that one here. And now we need to close the whole thing because this is very important. And sometimes it's very hard to see. And the easiest thing is to just count. So we have the first one here. We open our function. So one, the, the parentheses I'm talking about. So this is the first one, one, and here's two and three. But how many do we have for closing? Well, we, we don't have anything. And the great thing is that we can just press enter and then Microsoft Excel says, oh, um, you did something wrong. There are a lot of parentheses, but you didn't do it right. Do you want me to correct this for you? So there are two things we can do. We can check it ourselves and it's a good thing to do that, of course, because sometimes parentheses in a different place make a lot of difference. But in this case, when you do a, a fairly easy nested if, you can start counting, but you can also just press enter and I'm going to say, yes, correct this for me. Thank you. And if I press F2, we can see the function again. It gives us nothing. And that is great because C2 minus B2 is minus 80,000, which is less than 50,000 positive. So we don't want to see anything. And I'm just going to copy this by just holding down my right mouse button, left mouse button. And here we go, platinum. Well, they have a huge growth of $431,000. This one is a silver member because they have a growth greater than 50,000 but it's less than gold because it's less than 100, etc. So this one is again negative. Here we have another platinum user, a gold user, and here's a silver user. So this is great. And here you have nested ifs. The thing is, always think about what happens first because you have to go downwards. The function will stop when it returns true. And if you do it the other way around, it's, get, it's getting really complicated. It doesn't work that way. So start with a high number in this case and then go down. And you can go down very, very far. More than 64. But if you have 10, we only have two here because the first one doesn't really count. So these are only two nested ifs. Can you imagine what happens if you have more than 60 or even more than 10? You go nuts. So try to use it, but Keep in mind that it can get very complicated, so you have to do it in a logical way. So that if you get back like six months later and you read this function, you're like, uh, I know what I did here. And that can be really hard because most of the time you start thinking, why did I do this? And maybe it's a good thing. It's also a good practice to write it down somewhere in just logical text. Just write down, I did this if statement and it has two nested ifs because. And then you know six months later or a year later. You can do that in a separate sheet. It's not very hard to do, but it can save you a lot of time in the future. And that's how nested if works.